This is an instructional video for the Mint Robot Sweeper, uh, specially prepared by Mark Q for Daily Hagger. Um, well, first of all, you can see here is the Mint Robotic Sweeper. Comes in this box right here. Um, the main components are the sweeper itself, what they call the North Star Navigation Cube, and then on the box you'll see an uh, AC power adapter, um, a couple of uh, cleaning pads here that they give you. Um, and some packing material and then also a little shipping tab here. You put this in if you need to actually ship it you can put that back into the um, sweeper so the uh, blade won't move around. Um, and then it also comes with a quick start guide which is pretty useful for getting going, a phone instruction manual and then a little addendum which is about putting on the, uh, the cleaning sheets. So uh, just to get started here um, you have cleaning sheets that you need to add there, either the ones that come with it here, which are re um, rewashable and reusable, or you can use just commercially available um, sweepers like from Swiffer. There's dry, wet ones, these are the wet ones, and these are the dry ones. Uh, because the, uh, your mint has two operating modes, as you can see from the buttons up here, there's uh, the sweeper on the left and then the mopper on the right. Um, and we will we'll demonstrate each of these modes um, in this video. So if we want to take a quick look here at the Mint itself, it's fairly simple. It's, um, turn it over, there's a carrying handle here on the bottom that you can carry it around with. Um, and then there are wheels on the bottom here, of course it's moving around. And then this is your detachable cleaning pad where we're going to be putting on either the wet or the dry cleaning pad. Um, it also has a spot to charge it here. And first, we want to say something about battery charging. Um, you put it in this position with the handle down to charge it and connect the AC power adapter there to charge the battery. Now, this device has a NICAD battery pack in it, which to get the most use out of it requires that you charge it fully up and then decharge it, discharge it to its maximum discharge, and then recharge it again full and do this for a couple of cycles. And that will give the battery the most number of cycles in its life, which is limited, but should go for you know, hundreds of hours. And will uh, extend the charging time and the runtime of the device. So this has already been charged for the first time. It took 16 hours to charge it fresh. Um, there's an indicator light on the front, which when you're charging it will blink. Um, the three states of it are, uh, well, there's actually, there's red, flashing red, flashing blue, and blue. So when it's blue, it's fully charged. When it's uh, flashing blue, it's charged enough to run. But when it's flashing red, it needs to be recharged soon. And when it's fully red, it's completely discharged. So they recommend, after it's been fully charged, to run this um, at least until it's red. And I would just run it until it's not running at all anymore. Um, and then recharge it fully overnight, 16 hours, until it's, um, until it's blue again. And then do that a couple of times. Then you can... Actually, it recommends in the manual just to keep it plugged in um, so it's charged up all the time for you. So why don't we get sweeping here? Okay, that will be the next take. So the first thing we're going to do to get sweeping with the Mint Swiffer here is to put on, um, it's not the Mint Swiffer, the Mint Robot Sweeper, is to put on a pad. So we're going to lift it up here, stand it there for a second. This is just on a magnetic hinge, the magnetic coupling that pops right off. And I have here already the um, the pad set up. Um, you can also use wet Swiffer pads which then you will use the mop mode or you can use these recleanable pads right here. There's a white one which is meant for dry dusting and the gray one inside which is meant for wet mopping and you soak the uh, gray one in water for a while before you use it. And these have uh, laundry instructions on them tell you how to use them and so forth and um, you also, um, there is another model of pad that comes with what they call a reservoir so that it will keep water filled. So you will actually probably have to maintain these pads and change them sometimes during the cycle. Um, but all you need to do to put them on is to just fold them over. And then there are these little catches right here that you push them down into. And they recommend that you have to keep this channel clear in the middle. So I like to just push them in all the way around with your finger just so that they're a... Uh, you know, completely, completely in there. It's a pretty good gripping mechanism here. Um, even probably somewhat superior to the Swiffer pad itself. 
So just keep that clear there. Seems good, even on the same size. And then just put it back onto the um, magnetic um, couplings. We'll lock it right back on there. And so um, we are going to put the Swiffer down and prepare it for sweeping. So getting uh, the next set up, we need to set up the North Star Navigation Cube, which is right here. And as we look at the North Star Navigation Cube, it's pretty simple. It just has a blue flashing light on one side and a power button on the other. You turn it for a second, and this should start flashing blue because it's trying to get a signal. It hasn't got a signal till the mint is turned on. It has, has two C batteries that you put in the bottom. These should last a long time, but if you need to replace them, that's where you put them. And if you're going to store it for a long time, I'd take the C batteries out. So they recommend to put the North Star Cube somewhere near the center of the cleaning area. We'll put it up here, pointing toward the ceiling and toward the center of the room. I uh, used it um, before in a hallway and put it up kind of high and in a thin area, and I think they confused it a little bit. So let's start sweeping right here. So you go back to the North Star, I mean to the Mint. There's one power button here in the middle. Gives you a little startup tune. And um, as you can see on the front here, there's also three indicator lights that will uh, measure the strength of the signal coming from the North Star Navigation Cube over there. And when they lock up, that'll uh, be solid blue, and you'll see three bars going on here. Takes a little while for it to um, actually lock on. Um, I found that uh, it, it's supposed to, they say you're supposed to establish before you start, but I found if you start the cleaning, it seems to be able to lock on. And that creates this GPS map um, in the mind of the mint here to help it guide it as it sweeps. So we're going to clear everything out here. Um, just another note here, that's what the safety information is about, is both um, putting on the pad and leaving the channel clear, because that's for navigation. And also, if you're going to do it around edges, I know you have some edges in your place that you put up barriers uh, so it won't run off the edge. Um, I also found that uh, if you use it um, and there's some doors that are shut, you can have a problem if the lip right here um, gets stuck underneath a door jam. That happened to me. And when uh, something like that happens, there's a red light on the top that will go on and indicate error. So um, oh, just a quick thing about repacking the box here before we put it away. All the components go in here. And the uh, mint itself has a bag to put it in. You can put it in there nicely. And uh, you should be able to figure out how to close up the rest of the box. So let's activate them in here and just start cleaning and see what happens. Um, when you push the buttons, as I said, there's uh, the mop mode, which you'll push if you're mopping with a wet mop. It has a different sweeping pattern. And then the sweep mode. And if you just hit it once, it starts going. But if you want to do what they call quick sweep or quick mop mode, which is 30% faster, push and you hold it for, uh, for two seconds. So we're going to do that one, even though um, we're going to pause it. There it goes. So there goes your mint. And as you'll see, it's going to traverse the room. It bumps into things. It uh, reads on the edges, but it seems to have a really good pattern. Um, and so all the dust is getting collected under that Swiffer pad. So we're going to just let it run for a couple of uh, runs here and then show you what to do if you want to change the pad in the middle of the cycle. Um, it, did, it may take a while for it to clean a room. Um, I think it took me about you know, 16 minutes or so on the first trial just for a hallway um, and uh, I'll show you that in another test but it, the way that it says it works is that it will run um, do the right side of the room then come back to the middle and do the left side of the room so its behavior may seem somewhat erratic but it does seem like it's thinking in there and eventually when it is done it will go back toward the place where it started and, um, and play a little tune and that says it's done so, um, you can also block it a little bit with your body. I would recommend doing this and not being in the room too much. As you can see there, it's finding its way around. But if you do need to stop it, as we said, to, uh, to change the pad, you can just hit any button on it quickly. It'll play that little tune. Um, and then you can lift it up, change the pad, and it'll say it's blink and flashing mode, and then you can restart it. It also says that if uh, you're doing a large room and you pause it far away from the North Star Navigation Cube, that you might want to remove, remove it back to the um, 
middle where you started, close to where you started, so it'll establish the signal quicker. So we'll see here. I'll come around if it bumps into me. All right. So it's going to do that and keep prowling around, but we're going to just turn it off and show you mop mode. So also if you pick it up, it will go into the pause mode. And if you want to turn it off, clear the map, clear the memory, hold it for two seconds, and it'll power off. And as you can see, we already got a little bit of dirt on there. So let's stop and go to um, mop mode. Now we're going to demonstrate the Mint uh, Floor Sweepers mop mode. Um, first off, we turn the power on. We'll have a nice startup tune. And you'll see the North Star navigation. It's already connected. Um, you may have some lights on the front. And so, as I said, here's the sweep mode and here's the mop mode. And now if we'll push in the mop mode, put it on two seconds, because we say that um, we'll make it the sw quick sweep or quick mop mode 30% faster. Um, and since we're not going to roll the whole demonstration here, now you see how it's going back and forth with a scrubbing motion. Now right now I just put a dry pad in there because the wet pads are a little bit more expensive and if I'm going to do it I'm going to do the whole floor. But they meant, they say to clean up the floor first of any big articles and then um, dry sweep first and then wet mop. But it seems to do a pretty good job with good coverage. So as you can see that's the mopping mode um, as it finds an obstacle, turns around see if it comes back to us and then we'll shut it off um, and so they said with the North Star cubes you can get several of these get extra ones that can roam around your whole house or after it's done sweeping an area you just turn it off and move it to another area of the house and start again but it seems to have a pretty good range when I started in this room it went into the hallway over there and went all the way around the house pretty big area of the room without losing any signal here so here it is in mop mode, so as we said, we're going to just lift it up to stop it and turn the power off so we can pack this up and bring it back to you. Um, just a couple of other small notes. Um, I've left the plastic sheeting on here for you to take off when you get home uh, and start it on yourself. And also there's some plastic sheeting on the top of the North Star. And as I said, you can turn off the North Star navigation cube just with a button on the back. And uh, oh, turn it off again. And you're ready to go. And so we'll be packing this back in the box and have a good time. I'm going to highlight some things I might have left out in the instruction manual and know that you can call me if you have any problems. And there also is a number in the manual. Okay, that's the test of the Mint Floor Sweeper.